All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I dive to this lesson, giving our honor and our glory and our praise is due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Mukakadash, double honors with great millstone, at the apostle, we teach you well. Peace, salutation to the hopeful elect that scattered abroad across the four winds of this planet. As are doing all things, as soldiers of Mashiach Yahweh Shai, and a shalom to the sincere Akim that's out there pushing his truth across the four winds of this planet, and doing all things, as soldiers of Mashiach Yahweh Shai as well. Okay? And shalom to the Sir Aquathium that's out there, that's the reverence their husband, being a pillar of rest, keep doing so to those they may be. Okay? So the title of this lesson, as you can see, they do the things that the Lord delight not in. This is just a quick hit, quick hit lesson, you know? And basically what this is going to be going over is basically <clears throat> our people do stuff that the Lord delight not in, and there is going to be a grievous punishment for those things, man. Okay? Because I was just watching... Elder, uh, Elder Montezakba, okay, GMS South Carolina camp, okay, and basically, hey, the elders go into these different videos and how our people are cut up, caught up into these different uh, wicked ass pra practices, man, okay. You had, of course, Eve eating shrimp, crab, lobs, crabs, and stuff like that. You know, you had uh, another Eve, you know, in the store, you know, talking about about the, the MOTB and stuff like that. And then you had um, a, the one of the, the last chicks, she's eating a damn cat, man, okay? And brothers touched on this subject multiple times already and already did videos on it. You know, and like I said, this is just a quick hit, man, okay? Because at the end of the day, man, you know, hey, our people are doing things that the Lord delight not in, and they wonder why they get diseases and wonder why they catch in hell. They wonder why they get put to death, man. One, our people we wonder why certain individuals get put to death and, uh, for uh, for wonder why they wonder why our people get put to death for some reason, man. And there's always a reason behind why the Lord put uh, Israelite to death, man. Okay, because of their wickedness, man. Okay, so. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna split this screen real quick. Better me. I'm gonna uh, get um. Uh, I'm gonna get uh. Better me real quick. I'm gonna get this real quick. Second address, chapter uh nine, and verse um seven through tw twelve. 13 and the reason it says <clears throat> everyone that is sh everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape his by his work and by faith and whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in, the, in my land within my borders for I have sanctified them for me from the from the beginning okay then shall they be in pitiful case which have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Right, and it's going into two thirds of Israel that despise the Lord the Lord's ways, man. What and the Lord's laws, statutes, and commandments, man. Okay. There is going to be a grievous judgment behind that, man. Okay. And the reason it says <clears throat> the same the same must know it at the death by pain. Okay. Oh, so like um Verse ten, Salakia, so like for such as in their life have life have received benefits and have not known me, okay. Verse eleven, and they that have lofted my law, basically they hated the Lord's law, avoided the Lord's law, while they had yet liberty and where yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Okay, so what our people do instead of in China, um try to intrigue or try to, you know, look into what is being taught, they are despised to be like, I don't want to hear that shit, man. I'm going to continue to eat this cat, man. Okay? I'm going to continue to eat this shrimp. I'm going to continue to eat this crap, you know? Going off, you know, and putting more of a damnation upon themselves, okay? Then wondering why they got these certain diseases and stuff, man. Okay? Verse 12, and it says, the same must know it at the death by pain. Right. The same must know it at the death by pain, man. That's the only way two thirds of Israel gonna get gonna learn, man. Okay, death by pain, man. Okay, now let's get another one. Uh, Zechariah, 
chapter 13, verse 8 through 9. And the reason it says, And it shall come to pass that in the land saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. All right, two-thirds of Israel are going to be cut off and die because of their wickedness. Because they following after the ways of Esau, man. They following after the way of these heathens, man. Okay? When the Lord commanded us and told us, hey, learn not the way of the heathen, man. Okay, because let these heathens do all those things. Let the heathens eat all those abominations because guess what? They don't serve Yahweh, man. Okay, they don't serve Yahweh by Shimei Yahushai. Okay, they serve their idols, man. Okay, and it says, <clears throat> but the third shall be left therein. Talking about the one third. Verse nine, and I will bring the third part though through the fire and will find and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them, and I will, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. Right. Only one third is going to call on the name of the Lord and do the things that the Lord asks, them, asks of him. The, the only one third of Israel is going to do the things the Lord asks, okay? The Lord told us not to eat crab, lasso, shrimp, cats, dog, um... All kind of sort of abominations and stuff like that. Hey, we not going to eat those things, man. Because if thus saith the Lord, it's a commandment, man. Okay? Because at the end of the day, if you continue to eat those things, then, hey, that destruction is going to come upon you, man. Because the Lord even said he's going to kill people that do those things anyway, man. Okay? That's why the scriptures say that the, same, that the same shall know it, death by pain, man. Okay? All right? So that's it on that. Uh... Let's go and split this screen. And these three precepts I got right here, Lord will this lesson be edifying for those that may watch. We get the book of first I'm at Salakia, Isaiah chapter sixty six, verse fifteen, and verse uh through seventeen. And the reason it says for behold, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger and with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword, so like for by fire and by his sword will Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Right. The slain of the Lord shall be many, man. Okay, because two thirds of Israel are going to get it. Okay, these heathens going to get it. Okay, and the main one is Esau, man, going to get it. Okay, the slaying of the Lord should be many. If you ain't on the Lord's good side, then hey, the slaying of the Lord is going to be many. Okay, and two thirds of Israel is going to be a part of that, man. Verse 16, verse 17 They that sanctified themselves and purified themselves in the garden gardens behind one tree in the midst eating swine's flesh in the abomination of the in the mouse shall be consumed together said Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai right so hey if you're if, if you know you two thirds Israelites man that, that's eating those things man hey the Lord just straight said it right here hey you're gonna be consumed by that fire you know you're gonna be destroyed man okay now let's try to get this in another version Uh, bear with me. Try to try to add one in here. Because hey, and that's also going and when it says hey, they that eat the abominable thing, hey, that's going to eat anything that the Lord told us not to eat, man. Okay. If it's not according to the dietary law, that means you ain't supposed to be eating it. Okay. Okay. Uh, so like you. Um, where was I? I need, uh, verse 17. I'm going to read this in verse 17, and it says, <clears throat> Those who consecrate and purify themselves in a sacred garden with idol, with its idol in the center, feasting on pork and rats and other detestable meats. 
Okay? So, going into how our people are eating all these strange, abominable foods, man. Okay? Then wonder why they got to go to the doctor, man. Okay? You ain't supposed to be eating, eating anything that's contrary to the dietary law, man. Okay? You wonder why you are in a hospital. You wonder why you hooked up to life support. You wonder why you diabetic, man. Okay? Because ultimately, when you eat these things, you are destroying yourself, man. Because, hey, the Lord Stephen even said, okay, I'm going to uh, quote it the best that I can, you know, you're at the temple of Yahweh, man, okay? If your temple not clean, hey, the Lord not going dwell to dwell, dwell in you, man, or give you that spirit, man, okay? It's good. Let's, let's go and get that. So lucky. It's 1 Corinthians 13. No, I think it's 3. 3. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. And the reason it says, Know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh, and that the temple that the spirit of the, the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of Yahweh, him shall Yahweh destroy, for the temple of Yahweh is holy, which temple ye are. Right, so hey, you supposed to keep your temple clean, man. Okay, not smoking. Okay, def that's defiling your temple. Uh, eating abominable foods, that's defiling your temple, you know, getting tattoos, you know, that's defiling your te temple, you know. But, hey, brothers, in the truth, probably already had tattoos before they came into the truth, you know, because some brothers just didn't know, okay. But at the same time, it's more of a you shouldn't do it again, though. Just like brothers, we all was in the world. We all ate some kind of abominable food. But since we came to this truth, hey, we put all that shit away, man. Because, hey, the Lord said you need to be holy, man. Set apart, man. You need to be different. Okay? Not doing the things that these heathens do, man. Okay? I'm going to reread this. And it says, <clears throat> Know ye not that ye are the temple of Yahweh, and that the spirit of Yahweh dwelleth in you. Right? That's the, hey, the holy, uh, hey. You can't expect the Holy Spirit to come upon you, man, if you are eating abominable foods, man, okay? Because, hey, the scriptures tell you, hey, um, <clears throat> wisdom can't dwell in a malicious soul, man, okay? You know, you, 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 just, you just doing dirty shit, man, you know, spiritually and physically, man, okay? All right? That's it on that. Now, let's go ahead and get the book of Revelation, chapter 21. In verse uh, 8. And the reason it says. <clears throat> but the fearful and the unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and the whoremongers and the sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in a lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Right. All the abominable, man. Okay. You know, from your, your, from your, your alphabets, people, man. To uh, two thirds of Israel eating abominable foods, making themselves abominable, man. Okay, hey, you gonna have you gonna take part in the in the lake of fire, which is going to be over here in Babylon the Great, man, which is America. Okay, you going to be burnt up, man. Okay, and unless you repent, man. Okay, all right, I'm gonna read it, and it says, "Be but the fearful and the unbelieving and the um uh, the abominable." Okay, so the abominable, hey, you, you, you Israelites, man, that eat abominable foods, man, you make yourself an abom uh, abomination, man, to the Lord, man, and the Lord just avoids you, man, okay, because at the end of the day, you making yourself uh, unholy to dwell within, okay, because the Lord wants us to be holy, to be set apart, okay, so that spirit can rest within us, man, or uh, to, to res reside within us, man. But if you are eating the detestable things, then, hey, that Holy Spirit not going to come upon you, man. Okay? All right? Now, let's get Romans, the first chapter, in verse 1 through 25. And the reason it said one, uh, 25, and I'm going to jump down to 29, uh, 28 and 29, Salaki. So and it says, Who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie? And worship and serve the creature more than the creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Okay. So who changed the truth into a, who changed the truth of Yahweh into a lie? Who told you it's okay 
Hey, God, hey, God said it's okay to eat those things. Read Matthew 15. Read Acts 10. You know, it tell you that he made all unclean things clean. When the Lord clearly said who can make an unclean thing clean, man. Okay? Straightforward, man. Okay? So, who changed the truth in, of Yahweh into a lie? Mainly this devil, man. Esau, Edom, man. Changed the truth into a lie, man. Okay? Because he got our people indoctrinated to believe a lie, man. Okay? Now, let's jump down to verse 28. And it says... Even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind. Okay? And we're going to look this word up, reprobate, because, hey, we went into it yesterday in, in the class, man. Okay? And it says to do those things which are not convenient. Right? To do those things which are not convenient, like as in what? Eating abominable foods, man. And wonder why you getting sick, you know? Because you're going against the law, man. Okay, you're going against what the Lord says, okay? Because at the end of the day, yes, we know that the law is not going to justify us and save us, okay? But if you just willfully break the law, like, Psh, I'm, I'm going to eat this cat, man, because I'm trying to survive. Then, hey, the punishment is going to come upon you grievously, man, okay? Because you know, okay? Versus the Israelite that don't know, hey, they get, get told the things that they are doing, hey, they got to repent from it, man. Okay, because we all did stuff that's worthy of death, okay? But the Lord had mercy on us to get, uh, to get it right, man, okay? All right? And it says, even, and even as they did not like to retain Yahweh in their knowledge, Yahweh gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, Deceit, malignity, whispers. Okay, it is going more and more into it, but you know, hey, hey, it says filled with all unrighteousness, man. You know, it's because you got Israelites that after being told, they still go back and do their unrighteous deeds, man. Okay, and that's why, hey, the Lord said the same should know a death by pain, man. Okay, so let's look at this word reprobate. Okay. Okay. Hold on, let me. Reprobate, an unprincipled person, often having humorless, humorlessly, or affectionately. Okay, and it says an unprincipled, often used as a humor. Oh, that's the same definition. Okay, but let's get the 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 this uh the uh synonyms of this. It says rogue. It's rogue. It says a dishonest, unprincipled man. A person who does behavior who behavior one disapprove of of but who is nothing less likable or attractive attractive often used as a playful term of reproof. It says rascal, scoundrel, good for nothing, villain, wretch, unprincipled person, rake, profligate, degenerate. Okay, and it says it was another one, sinner. Okay, scallywag. Okay, so hey, that's what the Lord think of y'all. That's our reprobated mind, man. Okay, ruggish, bad, wicked, shameless, immoral, degenerate. Once again, depraved, corrupt. Okay, navish. I've never seen that word before. Navish. It says dishonest or unscrumptious. Okay, so hey. You, you, you Israelites that's giving up to a reprobate mind, hey, straightforward, man. Hey, the Lord look at y'all is just, hey, useless, man, okay? Because he can't use y'all, man. And he is using y'all on the left-hand side just to destroy y'all, man. So, hey, I pray and hope that this lesson is edifying to those that may watch, okay? Giving our honor and our glory and our praise due to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kwa to next time, to next video, Shalom, Kumashirala, Bada Bada.